Bindis peria sopeli tanda tanu probinde ba. Naris chweni si totale chiti vid gagu prinde ba. Naris chweni si totale chiti vid gagu prinde ba. The comparison between uh, Georgian language and uh, Kartvelian languages and uh, other Slav languages uh, yield uh, even uh, uh, sometimes more uh, impressive results. <coughs> uh, and uh, I would like to start with the uh, name for Georgian Georgian interpretation of the name of Serbia. <clears throat> which is mentioned for the first time in the primary chronicle, which you uh, see now, as Sereb. That would be a word ending in, a word ending in a, a soft sign that uh, used to be a clear vowel. That would be Serebi, at the clear Georgian uh, plural form out made out of Seri. Seri would mean a hill. Serebi would mean hills. That is what the name of Serbia actually means. And we uh, here can uh, make an easy parallel to another uh, uh, word under which the nation of Serbians uh, is known. That would be Zahlumi. In that uh, name also contains the word Holm, which means hill. Uh, from the uh, religious point of view, uh, the Yugoslavian historians wrote that uh, hills were uh, bore uh, uh, some ritual and religious significance for the ancient nations of Serbia. So they, they are not. Uh, so the presence of uh, of the hills in the name of this nation is uh, uh, justified. Uh, the Serbs' neighbor, uh, neighbors' uh, quotes are mentioned in the same uh, uh, primary chronicle as Khrovate, and we see that uh, the uh, word clearly um, contains, uh, represents a Kartvelian um, uh, toponymic, Migrelian toponymic construction. Khrovati, that would be Khroveti uh, if uh, said in uh, Georgian language, which means lands of, land of Khrova. Khrova in uh, Georgian language means, means pack of wolves. So Hrovati that would be, or Croatia, that would be land of wolves packs. Part of uh, Croatia uh, used to be known in ancient times as uh, Dalmatia, and uh, we uh, now uh, have a total right to interpret it from the Catalan point of view as well, since it's uh, clearly uh, uh, well, spelled uh, in Latin language, the Dalmatia or Delmatia, more importantly, as its uh, variation. Uh, it clearly contains the Kartvelian art structure, toponymic structure, that would be land of Delmati or land of Delamati, since we uh, know that Migrelian uh, people like tend to omit uh, vowels. So, Delama, that's uh, curds, curdled milk, and uh, uh, hence, the Del Delmati or Delamati or Delmati would be a uh, land of Kurds. And Croatia is indeed uh, quite well known for its uh, Kurds, uh, Kur Kur uh, cheese made out of Kurds, which is known as Kordun. You can compare it to the word uh, Kurd itself. Uh, Pliny mentions uh, uh, a tribe of Liburni uh, on the territory of the uh, uh, nowadays uh, Croatia. But you see that the ancient uh, sources uh, spelled, used to spell the, the same name uh, through uh, Y, through Y, not through I, which gives us not a right but obligation to read this name as Luburni. Luburni as a pure uh, Catalan Georgian, old Georgian construction, uh, plural form of uh, the uh, Adjective luburi, luburi that would be singular, uh, luburi that would be plural. Luburi that means relating to lubi, lub. We already mentioned that that's the uh, mysterious nation that used to live all over the ancient world and speak those uh, Katsuna language. We will talk about that in detail, but just remember that uh, that's another clear uh, evidence of uh, Katsuna name, Katsuna word, Katsuna construction uh, on the territory of uh, Croatia. 
Uh, we spoke about Zagar when we uh, mentioned the uh, city, ancient city of Azagarius on the territory of, on the territory of Ukraine. But this same uh, route uh, can be uh, seen once more uh, among the European uh, toponyms. In particular, I'm talking about the uh, capital of uh, Zag uh, of Croatia, which is Zagreb or Zagrebi, if mentioned in uh, if, if, if if said. Uh, the Georgian way. Uh, so Zagrebi, that's the plural form uh, of Zagari, which we already know that, that uh, means uh, mountain in Swan language. So uh, similarly to the Azagarius, which uh, was uh, built on hills, uh, the Croatian capital Zagreb is also built on three hills, uh, which uh, have a right to be interpreted as small mountains, and from, from, from uh, hence the name of the, of the city itself, which is uh, totally, totally Georgian. And now. Uh, directly to the words from the Serbian dictionary. Uh, charity, that would be uh, to trade, to earn, to, uh, to benefit. Chara in Georgian language means strength and power. Chatma in Serbian language means weaker fence, uh, while uh, Chatma in uh, Georgian language uh, in the uh, dictionary of uh, Sabor Beliani uh, means uh, type of weaving. So wicker fence is made by weaving. Chopa in Serbian language means uh, limping, uh, while chopano, containing the same word, uh, the same root, means uh, limp. Uh, Churchia in Serbian language means a person who works with, uh, with furs and with uh, skins, uh, while churcha in uh, Georgian language means uh, grape skins or fruit with stones removed. So quite distant, but still uh, a correspondence. Grdoba is a clearly and typically Georgian Mazdar in Serbian language, which, which means deformity, while uh, Grdoba in Georgian language means uh, exactly dislocation of joints, which uh, leads to deformity. We already talk about, uh, talked about uh, Kurtsuni, which means uh, weasel or sable in uh, Georgian language, in the uh, dictionary of Chubinashvili, while in Serbian language it's uh, a kind of an animal that cracks nuts. Kurtsun. In Serbian, Mahla means uh, darkness or mist, while uh, Maglauri in Georgian means heavenly, which is quite connected with, well, heaven and mist, the th two things that which are connected closely. And it uh, comes from a Mahla, which means moving up upwards, which uh, connects us to heaven, and heaven in its turn connects us to mist. And uh, we understand that two words in different two languages are connected to each other. Nana in Serbian means mother, Nana in uh, Migrelens means mother. Parcela in uh, uh, Serbian language means uh, land plot, uh, while uh, Parski in uh, Georgian means harrow. Piriti and Pirkati in Serbian language means to blow, to do some action by a mouth. In a Georgian language, piri means uh, mouth. Uh, rokati means to get drunk in a Serbian language, while uh, roki in, uh, in Georgian means uh, sediment in wine. So to get drunk means to see the sediment in wine, which is on the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the bottle, which means to drink all the bottle. Uh, that's lengthy. Uh, Samur, that's uh, sable in uh, Serbian and sable in Georgian. But those who uh, would see that, ah, that's uh, direct, that's uh, borrowing that Serbians uh, did uh, from uh, Turkish language. Uh, for, I, would, I will tell that it is not so, because uh, uh, Georgian Samuri, that's a shortened version of Sia Samuri, uh, which is a very difficult uh, construction uh, adjective made out of an abstract noun, Sia Same, which in its turn has a, a, a Asami as a root, Asami being an adjective made out of Asia. 
or assi or aso actually uh, maybe anything so the bottom line would be uh, si asamuri would mean uh, relating if we uh, assume that the root here would be as asia which is asia would be uh, relating to asia and sable is a animal is an animal that you will find only in asia you will not find it in europe shiba in serbian is a switch uh, while Shiba in uh, in Pshaf uh, dialect of Georgian language means colored plated silk stripe. Smook is a grass snake in uh, Serbian language, and uh, if we assume that the word smook is a derivation from the uh, Georgian mazdar sma means drinking or to drink with the help of uk which is diminutive uh, suffix in Georgian language in this case we finally uh, we, near, we unexpectedly uh, obtain a uh, sudden confirmation of that guess because uh, in the, sa the same Serbian language mentions a Serbian proverb piti kao smuk which means literally to drink as a grass snake or to drink a lot the Russian uh, translation will be to drink like a horse so even if you didn't know that grass snakes uh, like to drink water now you do know it and now you understand that Serbian smoke comes from uh, Georgian sma meaning uh, drinking Sopra in Serbian means uh, table Supra in Georgian means table Svila in Serbian language means corn tendril, while Svila in Georgian language means rye. Taban in Serbian means soul, while Tabani in Ajara in uh, dialect of Georgian language means house foundation. Soul meaning food. Taknuti uh, in Serbian language means to to touch, which is taknut and touch are uh, li likely to be relatives themselves, but uh, they both come from the Georgian uh, takeba, which means uh, striking, hitting, with tak being here the root. Tlak in Serbian language means pressure. Tla, obviously the uh, source for the uh, Serbian word, uh, Georgian mazdar, means carrying, ca ca carrying or slicing actions that you uh, to make which you need uh, to apply quite quite a pressure Saklete in Serbian language would be to polish uh, Saklesha in Georgian language uh, would be the same uh, Tsepati would be uh, to split uh, while uh, Tsepa in uh, Georgian language would be to wax something uh, tsitsa uh, means uh, uh, cat in Serbian language, tsitsa means cat in Georgian language. Tsurit in Serbian language would be to, uh, to flow, to ooze even, while tsurva would be in Georgian language with the same uh, root. Tsur would, be, uh, would mean quite a similar uh, kind of actions, in particular uh, to press grapes, to make tears flow. Tsvelet will be to upset someone, to make someone uh, cry, while tswa in uh, Georgian language means toil, torment, anxiety. Zeman means a time in Serbian, uh, zaman that would be Turkish word for uh, time, but both, both of them are very likely to come from Jami, without it, which, which is Migrelian version of uh, the word time. Uh, in uh, the Central Europe, the first thi uh, thing to talk about uh, would be the uh, toponym uh, Germany, uh, German and Germany, German, German and Germania. That would be a more uh, exact uh, pronunciation of that, uh, of those words, uh, if you want to uh, find the etymology. Uh, the two words uh, split uh, perfectly into two, uh, both of them, into two 
uh, George and Moore films, uh, Gear, Gary and Man. Gary, as we already mentioned, that's Wolf. Man, that's a very, very interesting word itself because, first of all, it's a good etymology for the words man and man, meaning the same thing, a person in uh, Georgian and uh, in the English and German languages. But at the same time, the word man is an uh, ergative uh, version, er ergative case for uh, uh, such personal pronouns as he, she, and it in Georgian language. You don't know what ergative construction is, you don't know what ergative uh, case is. Actually, uh, you, even if you don't, you don't have uh, two, because the, only, the, the most important thing to know here is that words used in ergative uh, case are subjects in sentences. And if the word is a subject, people assume, Indo-European people assume that it's pure form, it's a nominative case, which is not in this case. They don't know about that. And they uh, think that they have a right to place uh, uh, the word in this form in a dictionary. So that's how the word man uh, uh, appeared in the, in the dictionary, meaning actually the same that he, she, it is. Well, he, first of all. In Georgian language, there are no genders. Well, at the same time, the, the same word may be used as a, not a separate word, but, but a postposition, which uh, is uh, spelled, uh, written uh, uh, jointly with the, with the root. Uh, that's our case of uh, German, uh, and uh, that again will be the ergative case ending, but for what? In this case, it's not the, uh, the personal pronoun he, but it's the demonstrative pronoun that. We see that the uh, personal pronoun is the ergative form of which man uh, actually is. Uh, has another meaning, not only uh, he, but also that. In this case, it's a demonstrative pronoun. It's also the definite article, and in this case, we understand that uh, uh, German, we have all the right to interpret this uh, word as the wolf. And the in this case is used in the same form as, uh, well, it's put in, in, into an er ergative case. So this is the etymology, Kartvelian etymology for, the, for German. On the uh, on a Ptolemy map, we find a wonderful uh, toponym of Nemeti on the, one of the German tribes. Uh, the, the point is that in uh, Russian Ukrainian language, we don't use the word uh, German. We, well, we, we may use it, but uh, more often we say Nemetsky. Uh, Nemetsky in Ukrainian, Nemetsky in Russia. That would be Nemet, exactly what the, where the, the word comes from, from the name of this. Uh, tribe Nemeti, which is land of Nemi. What Nemi is, I don't know for now, but definitely it's a Kartvelian uh, toponym. German uh, negative partic uh, particle uh, uh, ver, uh, ver means uh, absolutely the same as the Georgian negative particle ver, meaning impossibility of action. Well, in Georgian that means impossibility of action, in uh, Ger German it means uh, quite n has quite uh, negative connotations as well. That's funny. Uh, you may believe it or not, uh, the word Arbeiten, German word Arbeiten, um, uh, which means uh, to work, may start with the uh, Ger uh, Georgian negative uh, particle prefix R. That would be, Arbeiten in this case would be not Biten. So in this case, the word Biten, if it exists in German language, should have a meaning uh, opposite to the word to work. And Biten is to wait, means to wait in, Georgian, uh, in German language. So Arbeiten would be not to wait, to work. 
Mephistophel, Mephistophel, Mephistopheli in Georgian language means exactly uh, God's weapon for Mepha being king, Mepha being the uh, genitive case, and uh, Topheli uh, being uh, derivation from Tophi meaning, meaning uh, gun or firearm. Uh, so Mephistopheli, that would be God's, uh, God's weapon. Believe it or not, very, very funny. Anyway, you don't have any other expl explication, explanation of the uh, etymology of Mephistopheles. Uh, Sudeti, Sude, Sudet uh, region in, uh, in Central Europe uh, may be exactly the same uh, Catalan toponym ending with et, et or eti, and uh, uh, coming from the Sudi uh, root. Sudi means oats, so Sudeti, that would, would be land of oats. Uh, Helvetia, uh, Switzerland, uh, ancient name for Switzerland, is spelled as Helvetia in Latin. And we, we remember that uh, starting H uh, should be uh, mute. So uh, Helvetia uh, legitimately uh, transforms into Elveti, land of Elwa. Elwa in uh, Georgian language means lightning, uh, and uh, Switzerland is the exactly the, re, the uh, European region with the highest rate of uh, lightnings through the year. Kurko means acorn or oak in uh, Georgian language, and uh, now we know why Krkonoshe region of Krkonoshe called it, uh, is called that way. It's the place where the oaks uh, are grown, and uh, the Polish uh, uh, city of Kraków uh, bears the same as we see, Georgian uh, root meaning oak. If you want a Catalan interpretation for uh, the word Czech, you have uh, two versions. That would be as one uh, word Czech, meaning uh, to shepherd, uh, or to, more exactly, to uh, to be as a cow on a pasture, or and Czechwa that would be chopping wood. So both of them uh, fit uh, Czechia perfectly. The word uh, Warsaw, well, actually, the, you call it Warsaw, uh, we and Poles themselves call it Warsaw, uh, looks very, very t uh, as a typical. Um, is a very typical uh, Migrelian uh, Mazda, Warsawa, ending with Awa. Uh, in, uh, the root will be Warsha. In this case, we don't find the word, uh, it, the, the name has no reliable etymology. And we have all the right to consider it as a, a Catalan borrowing. So we don't find the uh, pure uh, Varsha root uh, anywhere, but we do find its derivation Varsha, Varshaki in the di uh, Georgian dictionary, meaning links. So it should uh, uh, have some uh, relation to, to links or to animals, and that would be the true etymology for uh, Varshava or Warsaw, which we still don't know as of now. Uh, if you agree with me that uh, the river named Vultava, uh, which flows across uh, Prague, uh, is another Migrelian uh, Mazdar ending with uh, Ava, I can show you its direct uh, kin in the dictionary of uh, Georgian language. You know that Migrelian Mazdars ending with Ava should have equivalence in Georgian language ending with oba. That's actually a rule. And this is what happens here. Voltava uh, has its equivalent in Georgian language as vultoba. And look, the meaning is wetting, which is perfect for, for a river. Uh, Trashes. Oh, oh. Trachea, that would be trachea. The root here should be uh, should be track. We should work with this root. Uh, the ancient nation of tra uh, Trachians should be associated. We have all the reasons to associate them with the uh, quite a rude uh, wor uh, Georgian word trachea, meaning ars, or as. Uh, those who uh, would insist that uh, the Georgian t is not aspirated while, while uh, the Greek theta, which is, uh, which is present in the uh, name of this nation, 
uh, is as printed. Uh, for those, uh, I have a uh, entry in another dictionary of Georgian language with at least both uh, the word traki meaning as spelled with both uh, the aspirated and not. So it's, uh, uh, as I already uh, said, already mentioned, it's not a problem to interchange the similar uh, consonants within uh, the Kartvelian dictionaries. You have all the right to, uh, to do so. So, uh, in, uh, since uh, traki means uh, as, uh, Trachiai in, in the Swan language, that would be an adjective, means uh, a fat person. Uh, not exactly fat, that would be a big person uh, with uh, solid uh, stature. And uh, we know uh, Xenophan, Xenophans uh, told us that Thracians uh, had a tendency, a tendency to put on flesh. They were powerfully, powerfully uh, built men. Uh, so already we have all the rights to uh, draw uh, a parallel, and but that's not uh, the end of the story because uh, in uh, the third century before Christ, uh, a big number of Thracian people, exactly, uh, namely uh, a tribe of Tolistobogi, crossed the Bosphor Channel and uh, moved into Minor Asia, and uh, we have. Uh, right to assume that Tolistobogi, in fact, is a Slav, if not purely Ukrainian and even Russian word, Tolstoboki, uh, people with uh, fat, fat on their sides. Uh, if it's true or not, or if it's just a wild guess, uh, can be verified on the map of uh, Ptolemy, who places a another tribe, also in Thracia, in Strachia actually, uh, he places a tribe called Kostoboki, which is uh, people with thin, uh, thin uh, sides, uh, and uh, it's to totally uh, opposite to the word uh, Tolstoboki. If you have Tolstoboki, you should have Kostoboki. So, and that's not a coincidence, and that's uh, what makes uh, this wild guess a totally uh, scientific and legitimate uh, concept. Uh, in uh, Bulgaria, we have a mountain uh, range called Pirin. Actually, that uh, uh, sounds very similar to Pirine, uh, with the same uh, also a name of another uh, mount, mount, mountain range, but in Spain. And they both may have a uh, relation to the uh, Georgian word piri, which means edge, both of them being edge of, of, the, of the countries. Uh, but at the same time, according to this uh, source, the, uh, in Thracian language, Thracian language, uh, Pirin was known as Orbelos, which is Orbeli, which is a purely Georgian uh, adjective made out of Orbi mean eagle. So Orbeli would be a place where eagles live, uh, and uh, it's totally Kartvelian. And now we see that Thracian people also, if not, if not they, we can, we're not ready to say that they uh, spoke Kartvelian language. Uh, Kart Valian languages, but they suddenly uh, had some relations to it. Hungarian surnames. Hungarian is an Agrofinnish uh, language which has nothing to do with neither uh, Indo European family nor with no Kartvelian family, but the most typical Hungarian surnames uh, end with the very, very typical. Uh, Laz uh, in, uh, surname ending because the, the most typical Laz surnames end with she. The most typical, like Tugushi, Halwashi, etc. The most typical Hungarian names do the same. They end with she, like Nila, Shitama, Shifogarashi, Sepeshi, Seleshi, Baboshi, etc. So, and in both cases, this she ending in fact is a Kartvelian genitive case ending. Even if uh, it's not typical for Hungarian language itself. It may be a remnant, a, uh, a trace of uh, those times when uh, Hun Hungary actually was not Hungarian, so it was not Uyghur Finnish. Uh, those people came uh, there quite recently, and before that, 
obviously this region uh, used to speak the Kartvelian languages also. The Kartvelian story of Italy uh, is not as lengthy as, for example, Sp uh, history of Spain, but uh, from time to time it it's, uh, looks exciting as well. Uh, we start with Lazio. We already mentioned that Lazio uh, used to be spelled as Laetio uh, in uh, Latin language, which gives us the perfectly uh, Kartvelian toponym Laetia, Land of La. La means a bog or a marsh, and Lazio is a region which lies exactly in the boggy land of called uh, known as Paludia Pontini. That's a historical place. Uh, this one is devastating, totally. Uh, as you see in uh, Georgian dictionary, uh, the word Roman is spelled as uh, promini, promini, or simply promi. Romi, promi. The parallel is obvious, but what about the starting P uh, letter, uh, p, p sound, which uh, bother, bothers us? It, if the, these words are uh, bear the same root, uh, we, we are obliged to do something with the starting P, because otherwise we cannot explain the, uh, the cor correspondence. And it can be explained from only from the Kartvelian point of view. We don't need to do anything about uh, this starting letter. It's very, very natural uh, to find it here. And uh, all, all together, all this uh, makes us uh, come to a very unexpected conclusion that the word Roman, or more exactly Rome, which we know uh, is the name of the Italian capital, Roma, uh, in fact, is only a part of the initial, initial Kartvelian word with the start, uh, final P uh, taking uh, or just lost. So, because the word Roman or Roma does not split into any morphemes and is, cannot be explained uh, from any point of view, while Promi is a perfect uh, Migrelian adjective ending with the Omi, which is uh, quite a uh, trademark Migrelian uh, adjective ending, uh, added to the pr root, consisting of uh, two uh, consonants and some vowel which uh, was lost. Uh, what kind of vowel that was, it's not very important, uh, because we know uh, that this same root uh, can be found in, uh, a, in, a, in another uh, a Georgian word which is an adverb, priad, and uh, which means greatly, extremely, very. Uh, the uh, pure root uh, has not preserved, but we know that uh, it used to, to, to exist because uh, adverb uh, is a derivation from, uh, from a noun with the or adjective with the help of uh, son, uh, ending ad. So, uh, pre used to be, used to exist, and used to mean, uh, used to relate to greatness. Exactly that's the reason why uh, Trojan people uh, called, called their uh, Tsar, their king, Priam, which would be a pure Migrelian uh, um ending uh, adjective starting with the same pre uh, uh, noun, which used to mean uh, greatness in uh, Georgian language. And since we know that, uh, so, so pr promi in this case would be also mean something great. And since we know that uh, Trojan people were actually ancestors for the Roman people, uh, uh, the, no wonder that uh, priam and uh, promi would be uh, two words that bear the same Kartvelian uh, already lost uh, noun, meaning uh, greatness. Uh, in uh, Greek language, uh, Sicily is uh, spelled as Sicelia, which, is, uh, which gives us a Kartvelian uh, adjective Sikeli made out of Sika noun. Sika means strength, so Sikeli would be a strong. Uh, how uh, is uh, Sicily associated with strength? We don't know, but we do remember that uh, Homer uh, placed his uh, cyclop uh, named Polyphem exactly on the island of Sicily. Uh, Italian I island of Capri is known for its uh, very steep or even sheer uh, relief. And uh, it's 
not even sheer, it's almost vertical, vertical walls of a small plateau. So in Georgian language, Capri means exactly very steep or sheer place. And please note that formally it used to be Capari with a uh, omitted vowel. You will find this uh, root uh, Kappa, which uh, has not preserved in its pure form in the dictionary. You will find it also in Crimea, where uh, this name used to be, uh, under this name, uh, an ancient uh, fortress in Sudak used to be known. And this uh, place is extremely uh, steep and sheer as well. We already saw uh, the, the word Tarti meaning sturgeon in the toponym of Tartes, in the toponym of Tartar. Now we will see the same uh, root in the toponym of Tartarus, which is a, an old city that was uh, used to be, used to exist uh, at the same place where the river Po uh, flows into the Adriatic Sea. And uh, since we know that it means uh, sturgeon, in this case Tartarus should also mean the land of sturgeon. And uh, it's no wonder because in the Adriatic Sea there is a specific uh, species of this uh, fish called uh, Adriatic sturgeon. So it's natural to call a local land like that. In the article dedicated to the history of the Italian city of Udine, we, we learned that uh, previously it used to be spelled as Udene. The, wor the word Udene, uh, mean it in, from a Georgian language, means uh, uh, translates uh, literally uh, as uh, absence of flow or stagnation. What kind of stagnation are we talking about? It becomes clear when we travel to Udine, where we uh, understand that it's uh, situated very uh, close to the uh, Laguna di Marano, which is bay with the sea bay with the totally stagnated water. Bari means valley in uh, Georgian language, and we have uh, Bari as a city in uh, Italy. Also, we have Varese, another city which used to be spelled as Baretium in uh, Latin, so that would be Bareti, land of Bari, land of valleys. And uh, what kind of uh, valleys are we talking about? Becomes clear when you understand that Varese is located. Yes, it's located very uh, next, very close to to the Alps, but exactly at the point where. Uh, Mount is turned into a plain. Etruria, that would be the land of Etruski, and uh, we Etruri uh, uh, looks very, very Georgian. That would be an adjective made out of etri uh, root. Uh, we find this root in the Mazdar Etrevo, that means hands, hands to hang about, uh, to roam, to saunter, etc. So, uh, very good words to describe uh, some uh, tribe which uh, actually has nothing to do but to roam. Uh, Ptolemy leaves us a name of a tribe, uh, Ekekuli, in the center of Italy, and uh, nobody has ever spoken about that uh, tribe. Uh, it does, it uh, even doesn't have uh, an article in Wikipedia. Uh, Ekekuli, that would be a uh, Georgian adjective made out of Ekeki noun. We don't know what Ekeki is in Georgian dictionaries, but we do find this uh, toponym, Ekeki, that's the name of a church in uh, uh, ancient Georgian lands in, in, in the modern Turkey, uh, exactly in Tortomi. In Tortomi there is a church which is called Ekeki. We don't know what Ekeki means. Obviously that's a word from the, from the last language and uh, we cl clearly see that this same root was used to, to make a, the, a name for an uh, Italian, ancient Italian uh, tribe, Ekekuli. Also, we can find several uh, instances of uh, the presence of already mentioned Georgian sa uh, construction with a toponymic construction that means place of the root. So the, the uh, town Sa Chile uh, mean, would mean, from the Georgian point of view, land of Chile. Chile uh, in uh, Georgian means sedge. Uh, or a rush. Uh, so this is uh, the, the, this kind of uh, plants are quite typical for the place where the city of Sachile actually lies. Uh, Salobio, that's the name of a village in, in the Italian Alps. Uh, Lobio means uh, 
beans in uh, Georgian language. So saloba would mean a place of beans, where the beans are grown, something like that. But also saloba means steepness, and since uh, those places are really steep, it's also another good explanation, but also a Georgian explanation for this Italian uh, name. Samarate, that's a, a small uh, town uh, near, near Milan. Uh, Amartya, that would be Jasper. Uh, so, uh, so Samarate would be a place where the Jasper is uh, produced. Rioni, that's a river in Emirates, as we already said. That may be the uh, root for the uh, Spanish word Rio, meaning uh, river. But also that may be the root for the uh, Italian toponym Rieti, that means uh, land of Rio or Rio or Ria, whatever it may mean. In Latin, uh, in, in Swan language, ad is a prefix which means uh, direction of movement, uh, and in uh, uh, Latin language, it's a preposition that uh, has the same meaning. Uh, the word art, uh, as we all know, comes from the uh, Latin word arsi, with, with ars uh, being the initial form. Arsi in Georgian language means being, creature, existent. We already spoke about that. Bib in a Swan language means to pour, while uh, bibere in uh, Latin language uh, is to drink. Cannabis sativa, that's the name for, for you know what. Uh, and uh, cannabis sativa literally means uh, a place of, uh, place of cannabis hay. Uh, if you try to tr translate it from the uh, Cartellian point of view, because sativa means exactly place of hay. More wines have uh, turned out to have uh, Cartellian origin. Uh, we already spoke about the Basque Chacoli wine. Now it's uh, uh, time to talk about Chianti, Italian Chianti. In uh, uh, the dictionary of uh, Ariane Centuria, you see that Chianti it means exactly a bright light beaming and shining. Those, all, uh, all those words are wonderful epithets uh, used with, which specialists used to describe uh, the, the Chianti wine. Uh, Italian uh, cheese uh, pecorino uh, comes from pecora, which was uh, which means uh, sheep, uh, used to mean sheep in Latin language, and which uh, where the uh, letter uh, C may uh, have uh, uh, formally may have uh, relate to the c sound, may have rendered c sound rather than k sound. In this case, uh, the uh, true uh, root to analyze would be pezzori, that which is a Megrelian uh, adjective uh, or ending adjective, an equivalent of uh, Georgian uh, ur uh, suffix, that would be pezzori, coming uh, from pezzi root. Pezzi means uh, beauty, and uh, it's difficult to maybe, obviously it's difficult to connect it to the meaning of sheep, although in China uh, they sometimes consider sheep as a symbol of beauty. That's a fact. Portare, that would be, uh, well, that would, that's an Italian verb that means uh, to, to carry. And uh, I claim that it comes, it's a derivation from the porta uh, word, which means not only wing in Georgian language, but also a shoulder blade. Uh, and a shoulder blade exactly is uh, uh, what you use uh, to carry things on if you are a porter. Now to France. And with, we start with the capital of this country, uh, which uh, used to have a uh, name of uh, uh, Lutetia in ancient times, which it was spelled uh, in Latin language uh, through two T letters. That would be Lutetia. That would be Luteti, uh, which is a Catalan toponym uh, meaning land of Luti. Uh, 
Luti in Georgian language means a vagabond, something who roams, so that would be a, a land of people who roam. Interestingly, the name of, uh, the, uh, of France in Georgian language is Saprangeti, land of Prangi, but uh, there is a, quite a significant chance that, in fact, given the tendency of losing uh, vowel, omitting vowels in Georgian languages, that could may have been land of Saperangeti rather than Saprangeti. In this case, that would be land of shirts, because perang, Perangi in uh, Georgian language means shirt. And in fact, Gaelish people, uh, people, uh, the, the ancient uh, dwellers of, of France, they are known, uh, at least they uh, are, have been heard, to be the first to use the shirts with sleeves while the rest of ancient world still wore tunics. So if all that makes sense, in this case the whole story about Franks being a, some nation of which gave uh, a name to France itself uh, is a hoax. Uh, uh, Nantes, uh, a, a big city in France, used to be uh, inhabited uh, in ancient times with the, uh, by a tribe named uh, Namneti, and we understand that Namneti, that's not the name of, a, a pe of people, but the name of a country that, where they lived in, Namneti, land of Namni. Namni, Nami, that's dewdrop or teardrop, that, uh, Namni, that would be a plural form, uh, meaning uh, precipitations so uh, land of uh, land of rains if in plain words and in fact uh, Nantes is a very rainy place in uh, France uh, Cannes uh, the, the city of Cannes and we uh, please note that in French la French language it's used in the plural form uh, is located in the province of uh, Cannes that would be um, Georgian uh, toponymic uh, structure, Kanneti land of Kanni, where double N uh, stands for the plural form, uh, ancient, ancient Georgian plural form, uh, made out of a singular Kani. Kani, that would be an uh, ore deposit, open mine, uh, uh, where the uh, ore is extracted from, and this region is known for uh, bauxite ores, production of bauxite ores uh, well, throughout, the, throughout the history. And at the same uh, place, uh, next to uh, Cannes, uh, we find a Lubet uh, toponym, which uh, can and should be interpreted as a Kartvelian toponym, Lubeti, land of Lubi. Who are who? Lubi, who lubes are? We will you, will. you already know, but we will talk in details later. A tribe of Volki uh, may be uh, the Georgian word Olka or Olki because, well, actually Olki is exactly area or region, and starting V may have been uh, added here as a, a typical Swan tendency, uh, which implies typ Swan and Ukrainian tendency, which implies adding uh, starting V where it, 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 actually, it, it actually is not needed. For example, otahi votahi, ojahi vojahi in uh, Ukrainian language that would be ogon vogon, etc. So quite a f famous phenomenon, which may be the reason f to form uh, the name of the tribe Volki, French tribe. This one is funny but interesting. Uh, the name of the most popular uh, Gaul, Gaul a king, uh, Vercingetorix, ends with Rix, that would be a king, uh, and the name of the country will be Vercingeto. We may assume that, in fact, that's Vercingeti, land of Vercingi. Vercingi, that could have been a shortened uh, Vercinaki, uh, which is a, a Basque plural form for Bercin. And Bercin, you can find it in the Basque language which meaning uh, 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 cattle with the colored spots on it. So the kind of uh, uh, cattle, uh, uh, cattle breed. So that would be Gversin uh, Gatorix, if it makes sense, uh, should be considered a king of a uh, land of uh, spotted cattle. Mare means uh, 
man in uh, uh, Swan language, Mari means husband in French language. This one is fun. In last language, wit is 10. In French language, wit is 8. Obviously, the same word was used to denote different numbers. How come? Uh, the only explanation uh, could be th that uh, we know that there are different uh, numeric systems, uh, decimal and octal, and octal used to be popular as well in Europe at a certain point. So once we consider some kind of a transition between two numeric systems, say between from decimal to octal or vice versa, in this case we can imagine that the same name could be given not to a concrete a number, but to a number which serves as a base for this concrete numeric system. In decimal numeric system the base number is 10, in octal numeric system the base number is 8. So if the word wit in this case means uh, base, but not the exact number, that would be the ex explanation why uh, they, are, they uh, were called with the same name. Well, uh, and please uh, take into account that both French and Georgian language uh, show some remnants of, of octal system, because 80 in uh, both languages would be uh, 4 times 20 while 100 will not be 5 times 20, that will be a different story. So they end uh, at, uh, at 80. Interesting.